I'm going to tell you about a dream that I had back in 2000, uh, between 2003 and 2005. Uh, as much as I can remember of it, I've written it down before and I had it somewhere, but I can't seem to find the exact where I've written it down at. So I'm going to try to give you what I remember of the dream. Um, when I dreamt this dream, I remember hearing um, sirens going off like a... Uh, air, air raid siren type sirens going off okay and I heard um, sounded like uh, movement outside like uh, boots on the ground troops uh, police maybe or um, some kind of military or something but I also heard people like confused like confusion people were just like what's going on what's going on and like that and um then I heard others talking and they weren't speaking in English um there was a, a one that was speaking in an Asian dialect I'm not sure what Asian dialect it was um but that was one of the troops and there was also a Middle Eastern um, accented uh, troop member, um, army, military, or something. And they were going house to house, pulling people out of their houses. And this was like I was seeing through a window, okay, and seeing this occurring. And each of these people were pulled out of their house. And it was like, it was either early, early evening or early in the morning, right before it became really, really light. It was kind of a little, little darkish, sort of. And it looked very similar to the scene that I'm showing you. Um, although, like I said, it was a Middle Eastern, uh, some Middle Eastern troops and um, then Asian troops also. And they were working together and they were going house to house pulling people out of these houses and they seemed to be lining people up okay and they were asking them questions you could hear from what they were saying it wasn't it was like it was really harsh uh, kind of stern uh, sounding how they were asking I'm not sure what they were saying but they were asking him things and um, there was one thing I did understand which was very strange they were asking them if they believed in God or if they believed in Jesus which was really weird because it was in that language but yet I understood that's what it meant and I know that was really strange but um, and the people that said yes, that they did, um, they killed them. And they, um, went down the line, uh, in the families. At first they would ask the men, of course, they separated the men from the women and the, uh, the children were with the women too, but, um, they were separate for sure. They were separate off to the side from the men. So they weren't able to be there with the men and everything. Uh, they could see what was happening though and uh, what was occurring and what was being said. They heard all of that and whenever they um, executed the men, um, if they said yes, they knew God or Jesus, um, the women saw this and the children saw this. And, uh, of course, anybody that ran that didn't answer any of the questions or anything like that, they shot them. Um, and this was, some of them were using, um, um, like a knife or, um, uh, bayonet type things. They were using that. And, um... A few of them would use a pistol, and uh, for the ones that would run away, they would shoot them 
with a bigger gun, uh, possibly some kind of rifle or something. Uh, but I heard a da 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 like sound. So uh, it was kind of a rapidly fiery type one. And um, there were also some of the soldiers that dragged the women off and you could hear them kicking and screaming and only knows, God only knows what they were going to do to them, probably do things um, like maybe rape them or something. I, I'm not sure, uh, but you could hear them screaming and everything. So they were probably going to do some very obscene things. And, um, they were just doing this, like I said, house to house. They were going and pulling everybody out. And, um, they would pull everyone out of the house. And when they appeared to have gotten everybody out of the house, they had set the houses on fire. And, uh, this, this was, this was a dream I had before another one, uh, another one that I had had, um, a little bit later on, uh, I saw like aftermath of this, like, I guess somebody that was coming back into, um, uh, where this was at, um, so that first dream was more about invasion, which I believe was maybe at the beginning of a war. It could have been beginning of tribulation. I'm not sure what it was exactly. It seemed like it was we were being invaded. And uh, it was kind of unexpected, um, which I'm not sure exactly how that could occur happen the way it did it was it reminded me honestly very reminiscent of an old movie back from my childhood uh red dawn it was kind of similar to that where they didn't really know what was going on and they were just doing going about their daily life and they were invaded and um it was kind of like that um I mean, I didn't get the part where there was cut communications or anything like that and stuff. I just saw the part that was where they were pulling people out of houses and asking them that and then executing them if they said yes and that. And then, like I said, I went on to another dream that was, it seemed like a continuation of this dream, but at a later time. So this would be two dreams. So one with the invasion part and then... I think it was a few days later or uh, a week later maybe I had one where um, was coming up over the mountain uh, kind of like on a freeway I guess that kind of up over the mountain and um, come come up and over and started to kind of come down um, from the freeway part that was kind of facing down and I kind of live in a valley and so you look out from the window of the car and you can see the whole valley was on fire so um and I don't know honestly if it was continuation of this that was that in particular or this was this fire stuff was caused by something else and it just seemed like it pertained to this because of the the troops setting those houses on fire after they had uh, taken all the people out but this was fire was everywhere it was it honestly it looked more like it was either from a bomb or maybe some kind of uh uh volcanic like activity maybe aftermath type stuff where things were still kind of a little bit on fire and smoldery and because there were no green trees I mean there was like uh, I don't know I guess you could say skeletal remains of trees um but not necessarily um 
whole uh, leafy trees and things like that. So um, it's possible it could have been the aftermath of the house being set on fire. It could have been that it was um, maybe a bombing or something. I have no idea. But they, the two kind of seemed like they kind of went together in a way. Um, but when those houses were being invaded with this, uh, with these troops and everything, nothing was on fire at that time until they actually set stuff on fire. So th that was a before. And the other was, uh, either after those houses had been set on fire or maybe another event that had happened not that long after that, um, because the, it, there wasn't hardly anybody around and everything would look like it was on fire or uh, aftermath of fire or a bomb or something. So um, those I know are either after a war starting at, at the ver or at the very beginning of a war before it gets ready to start or it's after uh, the second one would maybe be after some kind of natural disaster or even a bomb getting dropped. So I really do believe this possibly were um, tri tribulation type during that time period. Um, and it was like, uh, it was like a, um, Kind of, I guess you could say third person experience, uh, perspective, sort of. It's not like it's, it's, it's hard to explain. It's kind of like it's you, but it's not you. Um, you're getting to see it, but you know, it's not you. Uh, I don't know how to describe it any other way, but it's more than as if you're watching a movie. It's more... Because you can hear the, the things that are occurring and it's you're there seeing all this and everything, but you're not interacting with it. So, um, yeah, it's, it's hard to say exactly what it was, but that, that was definitely very, uh, at the time when I had the when I had the dreams, they were very uh, startling, and uh, very shocking. But there was a lot of things that were going on around that time. Uh, what two thousand between two thousand three and two thousand five? There were a lot of things that were going on with us in our life and in our town and all kinds of stuff. So I don't know, maybe the stress of things, but I do in a way think it was warnings too though. So, um, I don't know for sure if these are things still to come. I really do believe they might be because I keep getting, I kept getting that prompting that I needed to say and tell about them and, um, get them out there for people to, um, hear and uh, so anyways I thank you for listening uh, I know I kind of ran two dreams together but they seem like they kind of um, kind of were related in a way so that's why I stuck the two together uh, and uh, I'll probably put them as two possible war tribulation tribulation war uh, dreams uh, and then, I don't know, maybe somebody else had something similar that can uh, maybe leave a comment or something on it to get a little uh, little insight if these are any uh, pieces that help them understand a little bit more too. Anyways, I'm going to say good evening and God bless.